Good afternoon, Quad Cover 101 here with another flight of the Ishin 180 Assassin. Now, I've discovered that um, even if you get satellite lock and you put this into position three, this quadcopter has it, does not hold its position in space, nor does the barometer hold altitude hold actually kick in. Um, it actually seems to wander quite a bit. Now, right now, this has been sitting in a while for for about uh, three three minutes, trying to gather satellites. In fact, I have right now eight satellites, but I do have satellite lock, and I want to show you the issue with this particular quadcopter. Now, notice I removed. My camera. I don't have a camera here because the camera, I, I think, seems to block off uh, the satellite signals to this quadcopter. But let's bring it up and we're going to hover. We're going to start off in uh, position one angle mode and uh, we'll bring it up to an altitude. Let's pick an altitude and I'm going to try to hover it as best as I can. Then I'm going to go position three. Look at that. What the heck is that? You know? <laughs> It just accelerates. Let's see if I can set an altitude right now. Okay, I'm going back. See, right now, you give it a little throttle and it rockets to the sky. And that is not holding its position in any way, shape, or form, folks. Okay, I'm going back to angle mode. Seems to me much more stable. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to land this, land this in angle mode. Lock it. I'm turning it this way again. <laughs> and this time, I am going to unlock it and we're going to go right into GPS mode and see what happens here. Okay, we're taking off in GPS mode this time. That's position three, GPS and barometer hold, and I don't know where it's going. <laughs> Let's bring it back to me here. There is a slight wind from my right here. Let's see if I can uh, compensate for this drift here using um, my trim buttons. No, nah, it wants to fly off into that direction for some reason in GPS mode. So I'm going back to angle mode. So that's what I'm trying to say, folks. This does not seem to have um, altitude hold or, bar or altitude hold or position hold. Again, going to position three. Look at that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> and bringing it down and seeing if it'll hold this altitude in position three or hold position. I don't think so. Okay. And going back to angle mode. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this flight with my goggles on. By the way, how many? We've got 10 satellites. We should have had something about that. I'm going to put my goggles on um, and my voice commentary. I'm going to put this hat on the ground for now. And my voice commentary. I'm going to stand next to my screen to the right of me here, plugging in my goggles. And I'm going to do the remainder of this flight FPV in angle mode because that seems to be much more stable than uh, GPS mode or even horizon mode and by the way I did remove the screen protector from inside here okay unlocking and away we go yeah I see quite a bit of uh, 11.1 volts still left here a bit of jello, J E L L O. I'm gonna fly until we go down to about 10.8 volts and then I'm gonna land it. But um, that's a disappointment for me because I, I was hoping that uh, this thing could actually fly with GPS hold. 7.3 meters a second. But right now it looks like this GPS is really just intended for velocity. And yeah, possibly altitude calculation. And other than that, you know, 8.5 meters per second. But for actually position hold and altitude hold, I don't know. Something's up with it. Okay. Yeah. Is that 
o'clock light. <laughs> okay, uh, where's my hat? Just plugging this and putting my hat back on. Well, final thoughts. Oh, before I do final thoughts, better lock that. Final thoughts. This GPS, um, maybe it needs to be configured uh, with a configuration software. I'm running this the way it is right out of the box, and unfortunately, the GPS does not work as advertised right out of the box. It does not uh, maintain position of this quadcopter, nor does the barometer altitude hold maintain the altitude of this quadcopter out of the box. Um, I don't know if it can be helped with uh, the configuration software for this. I'm going to try and we'll do a little research on RC groups, but right now out of the box, the only thing the GPS seems to be good for is calculation of velocity and possibly elevation. <laughs> this quadcopter 101, signing out.